could this be Ireland's cheapest house? Sitting on 0.8 of an acre, on sale at the moment for 30,000 euro on a little lane with grass growing down the middle of it. Listen to how peaceful this is. Are you ready to have a look? Come on. Okay, we're in. So, what have we got? It looks to me like maybe a 200 year old ish vernacular cottage, three rooms, maybe leading one into the other. Really big chimney stack up here at the top. I'm going to turn the camera around now and let's have a look at what else you can see from this little bit of the yard. Okay, let's do a little 360 from here at the moment. So, we have one room, two rooms. More than likely, this might be the next room. We have one chimney. We have a relatively good roof by the looks of things. I mean, that's not bad at all. We have a little footpath running all the way along here at the front, which is lovely because it is quite muddy here. So it's nice to be able to get into the house and not be too mucky. We have a little dairy or a little outbuilding attached here to the side. We have stone outbuildings going down here and they scooch up to the side of the house as well. I'm going to come over here now. This is the gate that I just walked in through and we have this little adorable stone wall here that runs the whole way up and then back here. And look, we have a little gate and then another small garden between the gate and the road where the hedge is. So that's basically what we have. Again, quietness check. <laughs> this is so cool. I am so dying to get inside this. We go in. Okay, we are inside, guys. <sighs> okay, I just need to take a minute now to have a look at this because I actually haven't been in here. Oh my god, guys, is that an out shop bed? Is that my first ever in real life out shop bed? Wow. Okay, okay. Right, 30,000 euro, right? What have we got when we come in? We have old electricity stuff up there, which is a kind of a good sign. My lord, this is so original. Look at the ceiling. Look at the heart. And the walls, oh Lord. Oh, I'm in love with this place. I'm in absolute love. Okay, let's talk about this room. Right, so what have we got? We have original hearth, 100%, right? We have the remains of the crane, look. Now, looking at this, I'd say the two walls here are the original width. But if you actually look up, that crane goes up a lot higher than this front piece here. So we have a little look maybe if you buy it and see does that maybe, let me stand back a bit, does this piece here maybe open up a little bit higher? I'm not sure. That is one hell of an original overmantel. Ah, look at it. Hello. <laughs> look. Okay. I'm gonna try and not get way too distracted in this place because this is literally my dream house. <laughs> okay, so what have we got? Let me see, okay. We have little built-ins here and I swear when I tell you I have never, ever, ever seen one of these in real life. I'm not lying. Look at that. This is your out shop bed or your hag bed or your kalyak. And basically what you're looking at here is where this line is here, there would have been a bed built into that little nook and somebody could have slept there. That was maybe in more in need of the heat and a bit of care and a bit of company than maybe having them sleep in one of the other rooms of the house. This is one of the most endearing things you can see in an old cottage. And this makes me want this so bad. Oh, okay, let me see. Right, double height on the ceilings. 
which is really cool. And they're still up there. I mean, there's a fairly large amount of cobwebs up there, but they are quite dry and they haven't opted to put a little lofted upstairs in it, which is totally cool. It actually makes this room feel so awesome and so big. So we have the door I came in through, little room leading off there, maybe a back extension there. I'd say that used to be the back door back in the day. Let's have a peep into this room here. What is it? It's like golfing in Virginia in County Cabin. Honest to God, lads. And you see this little picture rail that goes all the way along? You see here? And then it kind of starts back up again over that left-hand door. People weren't nailing pictures up all over the place in these houses. So what they would do is they would have these things called a picture rail. And like this, you'd hang your little pictures on nails on this piece of timber or you'd hang a chain and then you'd have a really big picture. Do you ever see those chains hanging on the back of the pictures? That's what these picture rails were for. And you can see if you look along them, there's nails all along and that's exactly what they were used for. Kind of storage, but also decoration. We have a fantastic washing line there. This place is so functional. I really want this place. Okay, right, into this room. So we've cement floors in this room too. So this is your front window. More really, really high ceilings. This is epic. This is literally the most epic thing. Okay, what have we got here? This is the room here. We have lovely original boarded doors and lovely old hardware on them. This is your room now. This is heaven. This is so awesome. And really bright. Like if you look at the proportion of that window to that wall at the front, this is very bright. It's about midday at the moment and the sun is beaming right in through the front windows of this place. Right. Oh, I still want this. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, this one has carpet. <laughs> ah, bless. Just checking. <laughs> so this would be maybe the sitting room. Now, that little fireplace there is a very, very old little fireplace, but if you actually look at the plaster work around it, either it had a bigger hearth in there to start off with, or maybe it had a bigger fireplace. Something's been done there. I have no idea what it was, but it could just be as simple as maybe they replaced that fireplace with a smaller fire surround and they needed to tidy it up. But, I mean, it's still felt quite functional. Two picture rails here. And they still went for this double height. There's no lofted area here at all. There is definitely the height to put something. I mean, even if you didn't do a full upstairs anywhere here, even if you just, you know, made a floor across here with a little ladder up to it and just had a little bed up there, it'd give you that bit of extra space. This is so nice. This is really nice. This seems like it's in quite good condition. More original doors. <laughs> oh, that one ain't opening. <laughs> I'm not gonna force it. So, what do you think? This ain't a big house. It's not big. Look at the drop on the light. <laughs> That's so cool. <sighs> well, we have a look at this extension. So, you can see with this door here, this is a definitely a more modern door. So this is more typical of what you'd see in maybe a semi-D or something. So this is definitely newer. And we have a little back extension here. And it is just a little lean-to. It never really had anything done to it. Um, I tell you what I am noticing now, right? 
this is our back door to outside which looks like it's kind of just lying up again that we have a little window here these here look like they're the starts of some sort of plumbing water waste pipes so i think someone had plans in here but maybe they just never really got to it and then we have a lovely true and true door system here so when this would have been the door on the back of the house that would have served just to get a little bit of a draft through to kind of air out the place a little bit of a breeze in the summer really really nice touch right that's it so what do you think do you love it as much as i do i get so anxious when i see places like this and there is every chance that the person that buys this is going to turn it into a bungalow or knock it down and I think the only saving grace I have is that I don't naturally end up driving past this place from where I live so I won't ever have to see what happened to it. Please God if you have any plan on saving a little house like this will you please do it because I really don't want to see places like this gone. This has like that heart, the little bed just everything, the double height on the ceilings, the panelling, the picture rails, everything about this place is just so special and so much a part of our heritage and our culture and just please don't turn it into a bungalow, please. <laughs> okay, let's head outside and see what we have out here again. So we have a little outbuilding here. I call it the dairy, I suppose, because that's what I call my one at home. It has a fairly nice galvanised roof on it there. Nice big cement barges on the end of it. A little door. I mean, this looks quite intact. Ah, oh, this is very nice. This is in really nice condition. That roof is actually really, really new. is that is that a little window guys what the hell is that up there look at that <laughs> i have a clue what that is so basically we have more cement floors we have some little parts of the original windows here I may be mistaken in thinking that's for cutting turf, but we don't really have a lot of turf in Wexford, so you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. I was wrong once before. And then back out to this little door. I think it might actually be raining. Ugh. <laughs> so look at your little view. Now, I think while I'm in here and it's raining a little bit outside, I'm just going to flip around because I want to have a chat to you about how useful this building is. Okay, so here's the thing I want to talk to you about this building for. This building is attached to the main house. Now, it's quite a large size room, you know? And if you look at this wall here behind me, if you could get a builder to knock a doorway in that wall, you could very easily add another room onto your house without too much expense. I mean, it's here, it's standing, it's made of stone similar to the main house. So you do have those options. Now, there are no windows in it at the moment, but I mean, a couple of skylights up there in the back of that wouldn't be a massive job when you're insulating it. And you would have another bedroom on that house, which would be a really, really big thing. Yeah. Would you do it? Of course you would. Okay, so apart from our dairy that we have here, we also have quite a lot of outbuildings. So I'm just going to go through these one at a time. Let's just start counting, right? So we have this little baby here, which is a little lean-to. Then we have one, two, three doors here. Now, this is the only one I ventured into. The roofs on these look quite modern. I mean, that galvanized looks quite modern. Now, I went in a second ago and inside is 
really just empty and tidy and you know good sheds for storage your roof might need a little bit of maintenance in the near future but other than that that's what you have then we have a little lean to here at the back of the house and it's actually the back of the dairy so if you look this is the house up here this is that little annex here and if you look here there is obviously something happened there <laughs> again this isn't the main house this is that outbuilding so a little bit of remedial work needed there but i mean not too much it's really only on that back corner so don't worry about it too much a little lean to we have so this is the back extension of the house that's the back door of the house there let's see can i come over here this is a little bit squishy here and then scooch, scooch. definitely could do with a bit of a land drain here um, this is really not the most difficult thing to put in, you know, rent a digger for a couple of days, dig a gripe, put stones in it, not rocket science, and it would make a massive difference to how wet this backyard is. You have a hay barn too. You are missing a sheet of garden eyes. You need to get that looked at if you buy this place. This is your little back area. So this is your back door here. You've not got a huge area between the lean-to on this dairy and your back door here but it's still very very sunny so it doesn't kind of feel too closed in then if we go over another little bit that is the outshot that's your little outshot bed there let's see if we can go a bit further Ooh. i'll just turn back around have a little look see so that's your outshot here. You have your little extension. And we actually even have a block built shed here. I mean, there are a lot of outbuildings here. And then you come back down to your little barn. I'm going to go up now and we'll have a look at this here. But what I'm going to do is maybe just walk around the front of the house to get up to it. Because <laughs> it's a bit squishy back here. <laughs> So this building here, right? This is block built and it looks to have quite big doors on it. Now, like this is big. If you surpassed even the contents, this is fairly modern roof. Timber's in really good condition still and quite a lot of rubble there that you could clear out, make a little stone wall, maybe face the front of that block again to make it look a little bit nicer. And there's your barn. <laughs> I'm dying for that barn, it's absolutely lovely. So, that's your house. That's your barn. And this is back up to the gate. And that is the whole place. So, there you have it. 30,000 euro, 0.8 of an acre, not far from a town called Swinford in County Mayo. Decent sized town, has a Tesco, has a new Tesco, fairly new Tesco. So that's always a good thing in a way of kind of gauging the size of your town. Supermarket sized town, great place to be living beside. Lots of bustle, lots of infrastructure around it. Just what you want. And this little beauty has never been modernised. You have to say just have to I don't want to see open plan living I don't want to see extensions on the back that are twice the size of the house oh I don't want to see it knocked down save the house please save the house and if you're not going to save the house give me the money and I'll save the house I will absolutely do that thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this one if you want to see more that are 30,000 euro I will do my best because this is the kind of ones I want to be visiting all the time Check back again soon and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more. Bye!